Hello everybody and welcome once again. This should be episode 11 of Running Red, the hardcore questing mod from Gideon Seymour. Now, where was I? I had to make some seeds. Some of them are very easy and some of them are less so. But the first thing I wanted to do was to upgrade some of these chests. So what I could do here is to take this like this and this gives me a chest upgrade I'll do that twice this chest upgrade is from wood to iron chest and I'll do the same with gold too so I won't mess around quite so much and the other thing I need to do is to make uh, some plant seeds right so where should we go and upgrade some of these chests I think Probably the best one to start with will be this one here. So let's make upgrade that to iron and then upgrade the iron one to gold. And let's go back to behind here and do the same for the mob droppings chest. Uh, I want that in that order. Oops, again. And that one. Now we have plenty of capacity in these two. I've got a new bow. Got some creeper plant seeds. I think that was one of the ones I had to, to make. But there actually there's two different types of creeper plant seeds if we look carefully. So let's go back and have a look at what we've got to make seeds. Squid plant seeds. Let's have a look. Squid plant seeds are made out of E. Seeds. Squid plant seeds are this one. So one bucket of water to the right of some seeds. Okay, it's getting some bucket of water. Let's come around here. Move to the place where we can get water from. Okay. And so one, that's creeper seeds, isn't it? And one bucket of water to the right gives me squid plant seeds. Next one is done. The creeper plant seeds, slime plant seeds. Okay. And rain plant seeds. So let's have a look at slime plant seeds and rain plant seeds. I guess there's a slime ball associated with with that and I have got to. What I did here is to put two oak, oak saplings in the uh, hopper and it doesn't take, it's 5,000 L for each one but it's very slow the recipe so if I look at this recipe for this it's uh, one and here we go drain is one LP life point per tick and you've got to do 5,000 it takes a while so I did two in the background and let's come over here squid plant seed, um, slime plant seed wasn't it slime plant seeds oh that's surprising one slime ball and one seed will give me a slime plant and they have to be in the right place good and the other one was rain plant I think to be done squid rain plant rain plant is one bucket of water above I think seeds let's have a look is it, that gives you squid plant and that gives you rain plant seeds okay let's have a look at the quest book now good so that's done, that's done. Repulsion plant seeds. That's a look, recipe for it. repulsion plant seeds are, I think, end of plant seeds, rain plant seeds, repulsion. So it's one piston, one seed, and one slime ball. I, in fact, have already prepared those. Let's go over here and get the piston, oh, so here is my inventory, one seed, 
and one slime ball should give me repulsion plant seeds okay yes and the very last one is a flowering of a flying flower seed I wonder how I do that one a flying flower seed is this one a one feather and one seed okay that's very straightforward you have those as well somewhere there are lots of feathers there we go and of course we can actually make all of these in our inventory right so all the seeds are now made so I can claim the record to get a full heart and four iron aubrey bushes which is actually really good so let's put those away I, sh oh, I can't put those away too much junk in there let's see what we can take out of here oh, I haven't read this place take the wool out of here because I wanted to make some mufflers didn't I and a muffler, a sound muffler is this one and it's made with one note block surrounded by oh that's the wrong one wool, a wool colours so now I've got in this chest here two note blocks which are already prepared we'll just go around and we get two sound mufflers double click that and take it away and in fact what I'm going to do is put these items in this chest and I'm going to put the first sound muffler over here and let's see how effective that is hopefully one's enough I guess that makes that makes a lot of difference now back to the quest book well, I'm going to put the other one over here because it's also horribly noisy but it had this thing where can I put it let's put it there yes nice so quest book so that's now completed now the next one is to make ritual rituality ah okay this is where I've got to make these elementary subscription tools which are part of blood magic and I've got to make four water, fire, earth and air so let's have a look at that very quickly elementary subscription tools there we go water so that's made with a block of lapis lazuli on a tier 3 altar so I've got to upgrade the altar first of all so that's my next job this one here is a magna cream which means I've got to go and kill uh, I think that's the only way of doing it a blaze powder from a blaze rod I don't think there's another way to Oh, yes, I don't need to do it, maybe. But I don't have any fluid transposer. But that's good to know. That would be possible. We don't have a next Nilo sieve. That doesn't work in this mod pack. Okay, next, that was that one. Block of obsidian, no problem. Again, it's tier th All of these are tier 3 altars and a gas tier. The gas tier is actually also no problem. You can make that with gravel, clay, and a bucket of water. Clay is made with gravel and water, so that's no problem at all. So we can make all of those things. And the first thing I have to do is to upgrade the altar. And I'm planning. I've already got stuff prepared for that. I have eight reinforced slates and forty blank slates. And what I need to do is I would like to do the sacrificial um, runes because that's the easy that's the one we need most I think and I should be able to I need stone gold and an apprentice blood orb okay let's just go and get this apprentice blood orb what we 
happened in there? Oh, some brain. Put that in the middle. I needed gold. I don't actually have enough gold for this at the moment. Let's take these two out of here and smelt those four. That should give me enough. And I wanted this ruin, didn't I? Oh, I wanted stone. I haven't got any smooth stone with me either. But I've got plenty of smooth stone. Let's just grab a stack of that and come back here. And then I should be able to shift right click. Nope. I need this. I need the ruins of my inventory. Try again. Oops. I have to put this in the middle. And then shift right click. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Stone. I do have plenty of stone. Slates. That will give me, the idea is to make four, so I just need three more gold. Which I should have by now, I reckon. So we can quickly divide those and make four runes of sacrifice. I also need to make a few other bits and pieces. And I can make some straightforward standard runes. And I think I've got to use the weak blood orb to make those eight I do not think eight is enough we need to make I'll, count, I'll go and count it I've got basically twelve and I think I need twenty so I need another eight. So let's just go and get another stack of stone. And I shall come back. Prepare the rest of the stuff. Because I've also got to do some digging. Eight. I've got to prepare some... Um, glowstone. And glowstone is made from sand and redstone I think is made from sand and redstone uh, let me have a look quickly it might be actually gold and redstone enough oh yes there we are but I need that will just give me one block worth of glowstone I need four of this I shall go away and make those and come back and see you later bye for now oh hello again and I'm back once again and I have a few visitors which they seem to have disappeared but as you may notice here I put a sand muffler from extra utilities and that's cancelling out most of the noise from there and I've also put one on the mob spawner here and if you had didn't you this before I've also extended this now to being a tier 3 altar and I put some carpenters wedges here so I can go up and down. Later on I'll move that those and make everything higher. I can't hear anything, even killing the mobs, isn't that good? A few more mobs in there. Now the next thing I've got to do, let's go back to our quest book. I missed the quest off. Ah and what I missed off was this one. And I go back, and I missed off the last quest, which is running red. So we need to do that one first. And this quest is simply submitting 15,000 life essence. And we will get back 8 notch apples, 16 golden apples, one or the other. And a reward bag, full heart, and another heart canister. So all I need to do, oh, look at that. We have one that end lily and the seed which is now mature so we can quickly replant that one and wait now you'll see I've got a yellow hand and what I've done in case you want to know if I also did this as well I put this around here so they some slabs 
so that the moss wouldn't grow down. But if I have a quick look at myself now, F5, you'll see I've actually changed myself a bit. In fact, you can't really see it properly. Let's just do something. Let's just put the armour I've got on into the chest here, and we'll put it back in a minute. And you'll see, I am actually F5. got a completely different skin and the way I did that is there are plenty of uh, player skin sites around um, and what you do is you go to your log into minecraft.net go to your profile and then simply upload a new skin so I'll change this later on but for the time being I'm a, a duck spider so let's put these back again so there we are the reason I did that is because there were children playing the Skyblock quest. And in the Skyblock quest, there was a lot of people, and they were all, they were all Steve's. Right, now back to the quest. Let's get on to this. This, I think, is a reinforced portable tank, and that should have, is it, I think it's 16 buckets. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's just get some buckets out of here. I've got 10 here, that'll do I think. Let's put that ender pole in this chest here. Not really the right place, but I'll probably forget where it is. And let's go and get these 10 buckets. What we have to do, is we come back to this and we put, I can't forget to click the book on here. So now it's running red in the end quest here. So all simply need got to do is put those in to here. So let's get rid of these. And just check the quest book. 6%. Yes, 1015, so that's working just fine. And let's I check these days without doing it and not checking. That was a big mistake last time. So we'll use another six after this. And this time hopefully I can count to six. This ten, so I should have four. Yep, six buckets. has now been selected and I fall in my hole again let's have a look 100% let's claim eight notch apples okay let's see what we got in the reward bag oh, another jetpack great stuff actually let's put that away to do with it yes let's eat the heart 17 lives, that's good, and let's put the heart canister into place, giving me 16 health, or lives as it were, I suppose. No, it's not lives, is it? Health. And let's have a look what else we've got here, some plenty of food. I'll put that in the middle, and I'll go and put these away to... And I don't need this jetpack, I've got two of those now. Amazing. Actually, heal be a good place. Right, where was I at the end of the last quest? So that one's now shipping to be now completed. Let's double check that. Oh, yes, it has opened up some more quests. So I better do this ones. So we have the next one that's available is this: keep your eternity. And here I've got to make 10 lead ingots. Okay, and let's have a look. How do we make lead ingots? So 
that were lead ingot. Thermal expansion is one aluminium ingot, one iron ingot, and a but of bucket of water. Fairly straightforward. You've got. Uh, I shall put those there. And we'll take these buckets of water and we can get those filled up. Should really put a tank on top of this, shouldn't I? And we want ten aluminium ingots and ten iron ingots. That's five. Ten. So what we have to do? I think it was. We try it and see what happens. Yes. So I can just keep keep doing this until I've got all ten. But this is really the start of the automation in this quest. Right, ten ingots. So let's have a look at quest book. Claim the reward so we get one of each of the more uh, Aubrey bushes. Okay, let's uh, put those Aubrey bushes away because if I can, that is. Yes, I can. Good. Let's have a look at the next quest. We get through the quests in this stage fairly quickly. What have we got to do now? Where we have deploy the battery. So here we've got to make one redstone conductive coil and one leadstone energy cell. And from that, I will get sixteen lead energy conduits, half a heart, and another. Health kind of turner choice of rolled backs great stuff. So redstone conduit, let's have a look. That's reception call transmission call conduit is made with one electrum ingot and two redstone. The electrum ingot is one aluminium gold and a bucket of life. That's fairly straightforward. You've got to make one of those. But we'll also check at the t same time the leadstone energy cell. Did I not do that right? Try again. Here we go. So I've got to make a a leadstone energy cell frame, which is a block of redstone with lead, that's no problem. And the block of redstone is really just nine. So I need at least 11 redstone. How many have I got here? None. Oh, 24, plenty. So we'll carve those. Try that again. Right click, carve those. And we needed some glass, didn't we? So have we got some glass? Not in there. If we do need to make glass, we'll have to take cobblestone and gunpowder, I think. Let's just check what we've got in. Not too far away. Nothing in the hopper. Nothing in the furnace. No glass in there. Right. So we're going to have to make some more glass. I could have got the orb still in here. So what? Oh, I'll just play, make plenty of uh, stone. Um, I want sand, don't I? Have I got any? Nope, nothing in there. But while I'm here, I'll just kill a few mobs. And come round the back here and see what we got in this chest. Uh, 52. Uh, 14 I wanted, didn't I? Okay, let me have a quick look. What I needed to do? Gold, wasn't it? One buckets of light, um, blood. So I only need one bucket of blood. Let's go and get that before I forget. So we need one gold, 
one aluminium and a bucket of blood should give me an electrum ingot and two redstone there and there will give me the redstone con conductance coil and the redstone frame I have to make out of that I need the glass so let's put these around here first of all nope not the wrong thing let's make a block of redstone Okay, so we just need four glass, so we need to put in to here, I'll put 14 of those, and that should make 28 sand. We've got the four we need now, let's put those into the furnace, get those cooking ready for that. And while I'm doing that, let's get rid of these mob droppings that I don't really want. Oh, in fact, we'll do a few mobs while I'm here. Press number one, just like the. I don't know what I need to do here. So I can reach Sharper from here, so I'll just shove them in. Any more mob droppings that I don't want? No. There's a few more mobs around there, we can kill those off pretty quick. And off we go back again. When I build the tier 4 altar, I will do this differently. Right, 4 glass. And one leadstone energy frame and an endstone. There's copper ingots and the red, redstone conductive coil. I think that's what it's for, so I'll just take 3 copper ingots. Put that in the middle, I've got 3 copper ingots. Go back here and see if the shift click works. It does. Go back to the quest book. And I've got both of those. So we'll just pick the middle one. Oh no, I can't do that. I've got to go a new type of blood. Then that building power electrocute. Ah, I see. So we've now got to make one leadstone conduit, energy conduit. So we still, oh, there we go. Leadstone energy conduit is six more redstone and I just press that that shouldn't be too difficult actually we have plenty of redstone glass we've got plenty of we've got enough lead here as well um, lead here as well just one piece of glass which I haven't got yet because I didn't take it from here Maybe we should just make a couple of pieces of glass we just want one. We should be patient and wait. I'm going to do something else. It started to rain. And there we have our leadstone energy conduits. And now I can claim reward. So, that's that quest. Now we have actually a very efficient form of power. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put all these that I made in here. Ah, oh, I haven't looked in my bag yet, we'll do that next and we shall also um, let's put this heart canister into place first of all. Giving me 17 hearts, we'd have a half a heart here. And a reward bag, didn't I? Ah, we got four golden apples and one nutch apple, that's, that's fine too. I think the hearts are over here actually. Not in that chest. Ah yes, I've only got three quarters of a heart. I won't join those together, you never know. It's easier to make it up when we've actually got enough parts. So I'll do it for the time being. Now, back to the quest book. We've done that one. Now, which is flashing? This one. Light up the effigy. And this one is to make 
a blood dynamo. And then I'll get three diamonds, four notch apples, and the other half of the heart. Great. So, a blood dynamo is made. Hopefully, we have enough stuff for this and don't have to mess around too much. So I need three black slates, no problem. One, two electrum, which is also no problem. Let's go and get the electrum sorted out first of all. We need two buckets of, which I haven't got with me, I've put them back in this chest, haven't I? I may put them somewhere else. Anyway, two buckets of the blood. And of course plenty of mobs to finish off while I'm here. which of course will replenish the blood. So we need two gold, two aluminium, and two blood. So that's the electrum made. Oh, what's the rest of the recipe here? Three slates, one piston. Let's do the piston next. This time you'll notice that I've got uh, some wood I've got no gravel with me. No problem, let's get some wood. No wood in that chest. One redstone. And one iron ingot, which we've got in this chest. So we just need four cobblestone. And f planks. And I don't have any planks. There are plenty of blank slates, let's take those actually here. Want those? Um planks and cobblestone. Plenty of cobblestone. But no planks. Mm -hmm. Right, quickly make some planks, that's actually I'm just in luck. That's the tree's grown up, so we can just quickly cut this tree down. Okay, I actually might as well do my usual eating. Got plenty of eating to do. Of course, what's happened here is the, uh, the sapling. Let's get that sapling back again. It's a spruce sapling, so click them in here while the other ones regenerate. Okay, five, twenty. Let's go and cut myself five times oops well it doesn't help is it between that and let's just put the wood in the hopper and to take the knife out You'll see that the trees are slowly saplings are getting, being, getting a few more saplings. Another one. Come out of the way. Another one. We get quite a lot of saplings from the uh, spruce trees, but not so many from the birch trees, as far as I've seen so far. We've got seven saplings out of that tree. I think the birch trees grow faster, so in the end it actually equals itself out. So where was I now? Oh, could I eat again? I'm waiting for this wood, aren't I? Oh, we can finish off the side bits of this. That's the wood. And planks, just put three planks across the top. One piston. Right, three slates. Put the slates back in here. One glass, I haven't got. One piston. Should I might have a glass in here now. Yep. And one dynamo. 
smashing. So now I think I've finished this quest. Let's go back to here. Claim the reward. Okay. Lots of diamonds, so we'll put those away. Put the notch apples away. What type of seeds have we got? They're ordinary seeds, aren't they? Okay, let's just put those up. Uh, put them in there, five. And let's go and get that half a heart out of here. Let's join those together. Full heart. Uh, and right click that. Now I've got 18 lives remaining. Okay, check the quest book again. That one's done. And now we have engage the energy. So here we've got to make a pulverizer. And I'll get another heart canister and a reward choice of reward bags, which is great. The pulverizer is going to be really good because that will actually double up the, the the ores that we're getting from the ore bris. And I think I've also got to make a sawmill. When I made the sawmill, I don't have to use any more blood to make logs. I can simply put the trees straight through. Okay, I shall get on with that, get everything ready, and I shall come back when I've done it. Bye for now.